Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Erin and I'm definitely not boring. Today we're going to take a look at some products that aren't necessarily new but are new to me. So I'm excited to give these a try and if you'd like to see what I picked up and my thoughts on them, just keep watching. Recently I found some really good sales. BoxyCharm had their add-ons and for January I picked up the Ofra Mini Mix Good To Go palette. This is what it looks like inside. So this is what we're going to use on our eyes today. Sigma Beauty was having an incredible sale. They were doing like 70% off. So I picked up a couple of their Aura powders. I picked up um, In the Saddle to use as a bronzer and I picked up the blush called Pet Name which is a very light pink. We're going to try those. I picked up a new Kabuki brush from Sigma. This is my first Sigma brush ever so I'm really excited to give this a try. And um, I have a new mascara as well. This is also from BoxyCharm. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. And I have never tried this. I really like Tarte's other mascaras, so I'm excited to give this one a go. So let's jump into it and see what we get. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I'm just going to use my finger and I'm really going to apply this liberally to my entire eyelid just to make a good base for that eyeshadow to stick to. Okay, now that my eyelids are primed, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, just to kind of set the eyelid and lay down a nice transition shade for the shadows to work with. And again, I'm gonna be pretty liberal with this application, not very precise, I just wanna cover my entire lid. We're going to work it into the crease as well. I'm feeling really inspired by this mint green color, so I think we're going to do a cut crease. I'm so new to BoxyCharm, I've only been a member for three months, or maybe this is my fourth month. I think I joined in November, so technically this will be my fourth BoxyCharm. Um, but I am so just enjoying it. I'm having so much fun with it. And the add-on sales are really great. I'm really looking forward to Boxy Pop-Up on Monday. Oh my goodness, cannot wait for that. And I'm also really excited to see what is coming in my box this month. I really haven't seen too many spoilers. So I'm quite curious to see what we get this month. Okay, now. To deepen things up a little bit, I'm going to go in with this dark brown shade, which I think is a bronzer, but I have a feeling it's going to be too dark for my skin tone. So we're going to use it in my crease and outer corner to try to just deepen up and give some definition. Hmm. Okay, that is not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. It's not as opaque as I was hoping for. So maybe I still could use it as a bronzer because that's, I'm really having to work to build that color up. Just back and forth windshield wiper motions. This is a refer number 13 brush. I got this from their concept store for $12 I think. I highly, highly recommend the Refer Concept Store. If you aren't familiar with it, you should definitely get acquainted because you get seriously good deals. You get to try their brushes and then you just have to leave a review, but you get like 50% off the brush. It's a really good, I, I highly recommend it. All right, that's not as dark as I wanted it to be. And unfortunately, I don't really have anything in this palette that could darken it up even more. But I do want to cut my crease. So I'm going to take some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Primer. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. Just a little bit. And I'm going to go in with this Bodyography Pro Flat Shader. I got this in BoxyCharm as well. These were two for $4. So I got two of these brushes for $4. I'm so excited. So I'm going to use this brush. It's great for cutting creases. We're going to use it today. It's a nice flat brush. It's not too big. It's, 
it's a good brush. I'm not very good at cutting my crease yet. I'm still learning the technique. But I'm having a lot of fun with it. Okay. Not the most precise line in the world, but that's okay. We're going to let that dry while I do the other side. I hear my cat. They get so confused when I film because they are so used to me talking to them. And when they hear me talking in here to you guys, they think they're missing out on something. So they really want to come investigate and see what I'm doing. Just going to do like a half cut crease. We're not going to go all the way. Do anything too fancy. I just want to lay down a base for that green. I really want that green to pop because it is so beautiful. It's the reason I bought the palette. I know. <laughs> Me buying a palette for green? Imagine that. Okay, now we're gonna wait for that to dry. So what I'm gonna do is take another flat shader. This is the other one that I got for four dollars, so woohoo, two dollar brush. And I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of Fix Plus on there just so that that green shadow has something to adhere to because I really want this to pop. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with that green now that my base is completely dry and I'm just going to put that green anywhere that I cut the crease. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see that shimmer. It is amazing. I'm gonna pick up more of that green And again, just fill in anywhere where I cut the crease. Can you hear him? He's just running up and down the hall, just trying to get somebody to play with him. Nobody will play. Everybody's taking a nap. Must be great to be a house cat. Okay, there we go. Not my best look, but whatever. I'm not going anywhere today, so who cares? It's just for fun. Okay, now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna move on to my complexion. And the first thing I'm gonna do is use the Tarte Found Sealer. I have this in the shade 16N, which is a light neutral. I love the component on this how it clicks into place, the pump kind of lives inside of the tube and you click it up and oh, I really, really like this. So this isn't necessarily a new product, but the brush I'm going to apply it with is. This is the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki and I really want to show you guys the bristles. It's so neat the way they're tapered towards the center. So I'm really looking forward to using this to apply my foundation today because I really think it's going to be great for getting into all those little nooks and crannies. So what I'm going to do today is pump some of this onto the back of my hand and we're going to apply some foundation to this face. Or some found sealer, I guess. Okay, so this Sigma brush was part of a kit. It also came with a little beauty blender. I know it's not a beauty blender, blending sponge their 3D HD blending sponge. So I might also use that today. I did moisten it, it's a little bit damp. Um, but let's go in with this and let's see what we get. I would say this brush definitely provides you with full coverage. According to the box, it's supposed to give you like an airbrush effect. And I would actually kind of agree to that. I think my complexion looks amazing. Wow, I think that did a really great job. I am very pleased with this brush, especially because I only paid $15 for it. Now that I have some foundation on, I think the next thing I'm going to do is go in with that new bronzer that I got. This is called In the Saddle. 
This is what she looks like. It's just a basic light bronzer. Just going to take this brush from Ipsy and we're going to see what this bronzer does. Well, that's nice and light. I got this for $3.33 and I was very excited to pay that. It was, um, this was again part of Sigma's sale that they were doing the up to 70% off and got $3.33 for this bronzer and $3.33 for the blush that I'm about to use. So that is a great deal. You really can't, I mean that's better than drugstore prices. Alright, next we're going to add some blush. Like I said, this one is again from Sigma and this is called Pet Name. It's just a light pink blush. And we're just going to apply just a light dusting to my cheeks, see if I can get any of this pigment to come off. Oh, that's so pretty! That's a really, really light shade. You can barely see it. But it's there. It's almost the color of my cheek naturally. It just kind of puts that natural flush back into your face. Again, this one's called Pet Name. Hmm, it's not really doing much. I'm really trying to pack that on. I think it's just too light of a color. Alright, I think the next thing we're going to do is mascara. So that's going to be the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I have not used this mascara before and I'm excited to give it a shot because I really, really, really like the Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara. So I have high hopes for this one as well. Oh, neat. Okay, so this is what the wand looks like. Very narrow. It's got lots of little spikies on it. Get some mascara on there and give her a go. Okay. Oh wow, I really, really like the wand on this. It feels like it's grabbing every little lash. There we go. It's really keeping the lashes nice and separated so I get a really nice, like, full effect without like the spider lashes. I don't want them spider legs clumping down the runway. Oh, this is exquisite. This is everything I like in a mascara. Okay, that is awesome. I love the way my lashes look in this. This is great. Let's do the other side. This tube is huge. That's what she said. Alright, so that's what the mascara looks like on. I am very, very excited about this mascara. I love that it was sent to me in a BoxyCharm because I think it retails for either $23 or $24. And the BoxyCharm itself is $25. So I pretty much just bought this mascara and then got a bunch of other cool stuff with it. But yeah, I'm very excited, very pleased, and looking forward to continuing to use this mascara. I've been trying to find a Holy Grail mascara, which I think I'm really digging the Benefit Roller Lash, but I'm getting married in April, and I've just been playing with makeup and trying to find, like, the perfect mascara because, you know, we're going to have to wear a mask, so you're only going to see from here up on our wedding day. So I want my eyes and every, you know, my eyebrows and everything to look really good for the wedding. So that's why I've been playing with makeup lately excited about that mascara. I don't really have any new products for my lips unfortunately. I am going to use the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayon in the Strand just because it's you know nice and hydrating and just will give me a little bit of color. Since I have such a wild eyeshadow going on I really don't want to put really crazy lips on to match that so we're just gonna go in with a little bit of this. Plus it smells really good. It smells like passion fruit. And I typically don't like fragranced or you know scented cosmetics. This one I'm okay with. 
there we go. My lips still don't look great, but... Alright guys, so this is the finished look using all of the new products that I have picked up today. Okay, so my thoughts on the palette. It's pretty good. I bought it specifically for that green shade and it did not disappoint. I am very pleased with the result. The green shimmer is exquisite and I really should try the highlighter. In fact, let's apply some of that now. It's called All of the Lights. It's like four of their like most famous highlighters. If you guys can see, there's four different ones in there. I'm just going to mix them all together and we're going to go to town. Ooh. I like that. Ofra makes the best highlighters. But every time I say Ofra, I feel like I'm saying Oprah. <laughs> Does anybody else feel that? Am I alone? Look at that. That's beautiful. Glad I tried that. So overall I'm very happy with the palette. It is a great deal and um, like I said I only paid $12 for it. If you can snag it in a BoxyCharm for $12 it's definitely worth it. The brush and the blending sponge also worth every penny. I got them on sale for $15.90 for both of them. It was an amazing deal. I highly recommend it. This brush was amazing. It applied my foundation really, really nice and just kind of evenly. The first time I didn't feel like it left brush strokes. It's a good brush. I really like it. And the Beauty Blending Sponge as well is really good. I think the shape is crazy. It cracks me up. It looks like they cut a big blending sponge into like three or four little blending sponges, but it did a really good job and I'm very pleased with it. As for the powders from Sigma, the In the Saddle Bronzer and the Pet Name Blush. I don't really know how I feel about these. I feel like I'm going to have to use them more, especially the blush. I feel like it took a lot to really build that color up. And as you can see, it's not really... Oh, you can see my highlighter really nicely. I don't know. I just... I'm glad that I only paid $3 each for them because they're not that fantastic. Um, let's see, the mascara is like one of my new favorite things. I cannot recommend this enough. I'm very excited about that. And I think that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please hit like and subscribe on your way out, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!